Hello everyone, how are you today? I am in a different location today. I'm just hanging out in our living room today working. Um, <clears throat> just hanging out with our doggies and enjoying some energy plus to help keep my brain going for the afternoon because it's one of those days where there's just so much going on. So I just want to um, hop on here and talk about communication today. Okay, um, today we are talking about communication. Um, so when it comes to communication, um, this isn't maybe what most people would think. This is about communicating with yourself and how you do that and how you communicate within your household to people that need to know what you have to say. But there's also some boundaries that I think need to be set with communication. Not everything you think needs to be said. Not everything you think needs to be heard. And just because you feel a certain way about something doesn't mean it needs to be vocalized. And I think that's really challenging for us sometimes. Just because... Um, we tend to get stuck in our emotions, right? We tend to get stuck in... Um, let me just turn this off so it's not distracting me. Um, we tend to get stuck in here, right? We get stuck in our emotions. We get stuck in how we feel and what we think and, and what we think everybody else needs to hear. But what I think is so important in this space is... Your communication with yourself and what that looks like. So we talked about being honest with yourself and, and getting out of creating the false reality that we live in. Um, we talked about um, taking responsibility for yourself and internally being responsible, right? So with communication, it's also important to communicate with yourself diving into what things mean for you. Um, it's not an outward verbal thing that you're hearing, right? When you're communicating with yourself, it's very much an internal self-talk process. And it's usually not very intentional. It's just kind of whatever thoughts come to mind, that's what we say. So I want to talk today about what it looks like to actually communicate with yourself so that you can... Um, have that honesty, <clears throat> have that honesty with yourself, be, take responsibility for yourself. And what does the conversation like that look like? So for me, a lot of, a long, like a long time, I was so negative to myself and I talked down to myself and I said horrible things about myself that I would never say to anybody else. And then I learned that the things that I say to myself is what I believe is truth and I don't have to believe that. So when you're communicating with yourself, it's being very intentional about what you allow to be said, what thoughts you allow to go on in your head, what things you allow to go on up in here, because that's where you're communicating with yourself. It's also a space for you to get in tune with your emotions, with your feelings, understanding what they what those look like. It's also important for you to understand your reactions. How are you reacting to the world around you and what does that look like and do you really need to be that way? So when we're talking about communication with yourself, everything is internal. It has nothing to do with anybody else around you. It has everything to do with where you are, who you are, what you want, what your perspective is, if you're honest with yourself or not, if you're res taking responsibility for yourself or not. That's what our communication involves. It's a lot, right? We could, I could probably sit here and talk about it all day long because communication is something that's so challenging. I can say something and I deal with this in my own household. I struggle sometimes with communication ever since our car wreck and the brain trauma. Sometimes the words that I say don't come out right. What I mean doesn't come out of my mouth. And so I have to be very specific with knowing 
how to say what I need to say. And some days it's this. I am really tired. I've been struggling today. And so I just need you to understand that if things come out of my mouth and it doesn't make sense, it's probably because it didn't probably because it didn't come out right. So let me know that so I can communicate better with you. But I can't say that to somebody unless I've already had the internal conversation about what that looks like. Right? So we go out in the world and we project all of our verbal stuff on everybody else based on what's going on inside of here. What's going on here? Now, this is where we talk about are you telling yourself lies about your reality? And everybody's like, I'm not lying to myself. But when you speak lies to others about your reality, such as, oh, I'm fine, everything's, you know, everything's good. But things are not maybe so great, right? We start believing these lies that we tell other people because they're just little things. People don't need to know. And that's fine, but you also have to understand in your mind, what does that mean to you? So when I tell people who are not in my tight circle, yep, everything's fine, great day, everything's you know going good, whatever. What does that mean to me? How do I need to understand that? We need to tell our brains how to communicate that to ourself. Because everything we speak, our mind takes in as truth. It's a really cool thing that I've learned this past year. Um, and it's pretty amazing. So it's so, so important to make sure that when you're speaking anything in your life, you know what that means to you. You've verbalized it to yourself. You've talked through it. You understand it. So that when you go out and speak these things to people, depending on the person you're speaking it to, hold on, I'm going to turn off that light. It's bothering my eyes. Um, the people you're speaking it to, you know what is going in, in here, right? I think sometimes too, we struggle with how we react. So it's also a communication thing. When someone else does or says something, we are reactive. We get defensive. We get offended. We get combative. We get all these things. And it's because we're allowing our immediate reaction to choose what we do or say. And so in this communication within ourselves, we get an opportunity to choose. Okay, this is what my initial reaction is. I'm going to hold my space, not say or do anything. I'm going to take a moment. Is this really what I want to say or do? Is this the action I want to take? And if not, choose something different. Be intentional. Because everything we do, body language, um, ex, you know, external body language, um, rolling of our eyes or taking a deep breath, it can always get perceived differently. And we're going to talk about perception tomorrow. But, um, you know, these are some of the key things in being able to, to improve ourself, to be better, to be the person we want to be, to grow into who we want to grow into, to reach our goals, to achieve our dreams, to be better parents or spouses or people in society or whatever it is you're looking for. So I encourage you to work on your communication with yourself internally. Learn your range of emotions, what those different levels mean. Learn what your reactions are. Learn what your triggers are so you can choose differently if you want to. Um, pay attention to your self-talk when you lay down to go to sleep at night or when you have time just for your own self to, to um, mull things over in your head. How are you speaking to yourself? Are you speaking life into yourself? Are you being the encourager you need in your life when maybe you don't have that person in your life? Um, those are really, really big key things, okay? Um, communication is everything. It's how we understand things. It's how we share things. It's how we tell people how we feel, what we need, what's hurting us, what's going great, what's going amazing, how we... It's everything, right? 
I feel like communication is key to everything. But there are some keys to communication. There are some, in, there are some specific things we need to know on how to communicate with ourselves so we can communicate better with others. So that is my, my thing today on communication. Communication is a challenging thing sometimes to talk about because it's such a broad range of things. Um, and going internal with communication can be um, a bit challenging for some people because people tend, like I said, they get defensive or offended and, and it's just not something that it's the easiest thing to do. So um, I want to thank you guys for hopping on and watching this today.